Moncrief on News Talk. To go back to uh, uh, the trip I was on uh, to uh, Somalia last week, and just to explain, a group of us did go over there. There was obviously people from UNICEF, as well as Amy Malloy and Johnny Brew from The Independent, and the actor Stephen Ray, who's been a UNICEF ambassador for many years. So on our last day in the country, I sat down with Stephen for a bit of a chat and I began by asking uh, when he was first asked to be an ambassador, did he immediately say yes? No, I think I said yes immediately because I always remember having an argument with someone when I was giving, when I was quite young and I was giving money to a charity for uh, some poor people and they said, you're only doing that to make yourself feel good. And I said, well, if I feel good, fine, but if they get the money and get their life improved, sure, that's good for them. Yeah. So, and I, so I absolutely didn't, I, I've never looked on, I, I've never looked on it as an ego thing. It's just an important thing to do, you know. Yeah. No, I mean, from the, uh, even, uh, I must admit, when I was asked to go on this trip, mm. uh, I thought about it for a few hours because, dude, I want to go to Somalia and look at, you know, human depravity or the effects of human depravity rather than, you know, uh, or would it be just easier for me to chuck a few hundred quid to UNICEF uh, and feel yeah. I'd, you know, done my business there kind of thing. But you, you would say that after the few days that we've been here, what you've done has been much more important than just chucking a few spare quid that you have. Mm. You've, 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 you've brought your intelligence and your uh, experience to something which is fairly shocking. Yeah. Very shocking. And I just, I wish we could do something for each and every one of those kids because they're beautiful creatures, aren't they? And and their mothers are beautiful creatures. And it's, um, and, and, and we need, especially with the whole thing of climate change, we need to let people know at home how significant it is. And it'll, it's significant for them, but it's also we've got to try and reduce the impact that this side of the world is having mm. from our consumptions. Mm. What does it tell you about, or does it tell you anything about human beings? This is more a philosophical question, or how dark and how light humans can be. Well, uh, well, the world at the moment is uh, quite staggering, isn't it? The, the, the amount of cruelty and absolutely disgusting what people are doing to each other is out of this world. I, I, I mean, I thought, you know, Second World War, must that must be the end, you know. Mm. But here we are. It's, it's coming up again, another world war. And I, it, it does... I mean, I don't quite understand how to interpret the whole Somalian thing. You know, I know that there's this clan system where they have a control that they really they shouldn't that nobody should have and um and i just i see i have to say a lack of um, male contribution to improving it as i see some be- beautiful male teachers who are really marvelous and and are doing what they can but they're i don't see too many husbands or uh, sexual partners who are behaving with any responsibility to their children. I yeah. don't see that. Uh, yeah. Though you grew up in the North, so you have some knowledge of how much people can hate each other based on sometimes not knowing about each other. Is this just another example of that? Is this just history repeating itself endlessly? Um, well, I mean, I think in the North, uh, well, I, they, they invented uh, uh, an awful lot of the... I mean, it's... It's a classic uh, sto- colonial story is that they, they move the native people off the land and they give it to uh, some intruders and the intruders think they own it. Yeah. And uh, that's always, uh, you know, that's what we're seeing in Gaza at the moment. And it, 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 that's just a recipe for war. I mean, it really is, you know. Yeah. It's, it, it, but it makes me despair, you know. But uh, of course, and the North makes me despair, but you know why can't people be decent you know I'm sorry it's pathetic <laughs> this is a pathetic interview you know, you know but it's it's you know uh, I mean it's you know it, uh, I see here the same kind kind of uh, appalling destruction 
that was inflicted in Ireland. You know, what we saw yesterday with all those huts and everything that people were living in, and that's exactly what the landscape must have looked like after the famine, you know. Yeah. And and it's, it's, it's very... It's it's very distressing, you know. The weird thing is, though, and I thought, now maybe it hasn't hit me yet, but I, I like they're lovely people, they're quite a happy people, and and I don't I, I don't feel hopeless having seen no. the conditions people were living in, and you know, it, it, and not so much because of the aid they were getting, but because of them. There's something. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right about that. I mean, I found the woman that we met yesterday, who had lost one son and still had four children, and had not been fed for some days. Mm. I felt for her. She had a bad eye, and she would, you know, but she was absolutely the epitome of a mother. You know that she was doing what she needed to do for those children, mm. you know, having moved from Ethiopia to that camp and. And 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 she was suffering very obviously, I think. But they they are a very bright people. Um, mm. I, I'm I'm not sure whether it's the weather or not. I don't know what it is. But they they're absolutely a, they're absolutely a delight in the way they um, if you greet them and they touch their heart. Yeah. And I, I just it it. I cannot imagine how col- colonizers would have ever thought they were savages. Yeah. You know, they're delightful people. Mm. Yeah. And they care about the land that, you know, you know, this is part of the problem is, and we have to deal with it too, is that because, because the landscape was Europeanized, it's the same as in America with the Native uh, Americans. Mm. They, they, they destroyed the the whole approach that Native Americans had to the, the land, mm. and it was much healthier than than the European attitude, you know. And I think this is the same thing here, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, apart from what camel tastes like, what else have you learned since you've come here? I I didn't really taste the camel. Oh, did you not? I put it in my mouth and then I removed it, you know. Oh. No, I did. Did you? It, like I it? did. Yeah, I thought it was tasty. No, it's just having seen them as they're strange, elegant, clumsy animals, you know, having seen them being moved towards the destruction area, I just couldn't. Yeah. Uh, now, couldn't. just to explain, this was in Dolo where we were before, and someone said that was they were bringing them to the abattoir. This, we didn't. The, well, they were. The, the cam- yeah, but the camel we ate, we didn't see them being moved to being killed no but it's not a, it's not a huge leap to imagine <laughs> <laughs> that the camel we were eating might taste similar to the ones that were being well it's true and they were probably cousins I would say they were camel cousins yeah. as sure as <laughs> you can be sure of that but uh, no I don't know I'm just getting very queasy about that stuff and um, I, and of course those people should eat whatever they can get you know mm. that's for sure yeah, I, yeah. Um, I but no, but it's it's an extraordinary landscape of, you know, the the natural life that's there. You know, the the donkeys are quite unlike the kind of we see two or three donkeys in the landscape in Ireland, don't you? Yes, that's true. There were a lot of donkeys there, and, there, and you were taken with them. I was very impressed <laughs> by, by some of by. <laughs> I, 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 yes, they they. they no, listen, it's been incredible being here. And and I have to say that, you know, the decency of our group is so impressive, you know, mm, yeah. from Peter, right, you know, to Joan and the lovely Cueva. And the, it's absolutely, it does bring out the best in people. And yeah. that's why more people should come and we should get, try and learn about it instead of thinking, oh, it's just a way across the world. It's not, it's, it's, it is our world. This is what I, you know, the, these are, um, I don't want to sound patronizing or, uh, but the, they are our children. These are the children of the world and, and we are in this world with them. And they, it is our responsibility to look after them because these poor people have lost the capacity to look after them properly. Although when you look in the schools, I'm so knocked out by the schools with those girls. So 
so assured, so intelligent, and so, you know, so composed, getting it, you know, getting the education they need, and they want to be doctors, they want to be uh, teachers. There's, you know, and boys there who want to be engineers and things. I think, how does this happen, you know, in the midst of all this, Yeah, yeah. you know, mess of... Uh, you know the, what we saw earlier, and uh, where the children are starving. Yeah, that's you true. know that's, you know, just it's wrong. It's absolutely wrong that we should. Sorry, you know, that that we should be, people should be using funds to build weaponry when there are children that are hungry. I just find it beyond belief. Yeah. And it was a lovely group we came up with today, though, uh, 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 this week. Though, oh. Yeah, though everyone thought you were a bollocks. Well, they're, they're right about that. Yes. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just go and smash their teeth down the throats. <laughs> no, <they're, laughs> no, no. Well, well, everybody's a bit of a bollocks some of the time, yeah, aren't true, they? It's you know. true, it's but, true. But I just, anyway, I love them. Yeah, Stephen, we'll leave it there. Thanks okay, a million. Thanks, thanks a million.